I've been into juggling for a little over a decade and something has always bothered me with it. No matter how much you practice, as soon as you stop, you get worse. Just because you can do a trick one time doesn't mean you can do it the next time you try it. So I've decided to solve the problem of keeping balls in the air once and for all by building the world's first proper juggling robot, which I've named Jugglebot. On this channel, I'm documenting the process of designing, building, and controlling Jugglebot, which is quite unlike any juggling machines you might have seen in the past. When complete, Jugglebot will be able to juggle almost any pattern that a human can juggle and many that humans cannot. There is a whole world of juggling patterns that border on impossible for humans to perform that I'm planning on Jugglebot, or more correctly, a group of Jugglebots, performing with ease. You can check out some of my previous videos to see how progress is going, but I'm fairly confident that Jugglebot will be able to juggle two balls in one hand by the end of 2023, and I wouldn't be surprised if it could do three balls in one hand, or five balls between two hands, if I can afford a second Jugglebot by then. As for the project on the whole, there are a few big goals that I have. The first is to beat the current world record for ball juggling, which is a whopping 14 catches of 14 balls. On the way to that goal, there are a few milestones that I think are pretty noteworthy in the development of Jugglebot, one of which is to beat me by doing 50 catches of 7 balls. This is something that I've been practicing for about 4 years, and the furthest I've gotten is about 30 to 40 catches, and I'm very interested to see how long it takes Jugglebot to beat me. Something tells me it's going to take a fraction of the time that it took me to get this good. The second big goal needs a bit of explaining. Almost all juggling that you would have seen in real life would have been with one person, or two hands, juggling in a 2D plane. Now, it may not come as much of a surprise, but that's not the only way that balls can be thrown in the air. Once you add more people into the mix, you can get some truly beautiful patterns emerge. The only problem with adding more people is that humans tend to have bodies that get in the way, and our eyes can only see in one direction at a time. Now imagine this, a swarm of jugglebots all juggling to each other. No bodies to get in the way of low throws, no robot unable to see the balls coming towards it. But we can make it even cooler. Imagine using LED balls whose color can be controlled remotely, and having the Jugglebot army juggling in time with a song. Any song. And for the PS de Resistance, we can add a drone into the mix to record a video of the entire performance. Wouldn't that be amazing? These goals are still a while off, and there are many hurdles to overcome along the way, but I am confident that both of these goals are entirely possible. In the meantime, I invite you to join me on the journey of developing the world's first proper juggling robot, the one that will deep blue juggling, and put most of ball juggling forever in the domain of robots.